Hi, I'm Jonathan Actins. And I'm Fastco. We are going to explain how we used hyperspectral imaging to classify different cultured cancer cell samples. We also ran tests to see whether or not hyperspectral imaging was able to detect any effects of compound methyl sulfonylmethane on the cancer samples. Colon and breast cancer cells were cultured, each being exposed to varying concentrations of MSN. These samples were then imaged and pre-processed before being run through SVM and NDCI algorithms for classification. Here we have the data viewing interface. We can choose which samples to view, the wavelengths, and extract the pixels reflectance graph for analysis. A user interface was developed with which either breast samples could be compared to colon samples or MSM treated samples could be compared with non-MSM treated samples. Samples could be mean and the differences compared. First, samples needed to be selected and then plotted compared to each other. While there was sufficient difference between the colon and breast cancer for us to use algorithms to detect the difference, there was insufficient difference between the MSM and no MSM so that we couldn't actually find any algorithms to detect their difference. Edge cases were ignored as this was due to camera noise. The training process for SVM requires choosing a sample set with liquid media or without. Then the learning spectrum must be chosen from the available options. Once trained, the structure is saved. In the classification test, a test sample must be chosen, followed by the SVM structure previously created, the spectra for the test, and the type of graph. Each accuracy is given, the average accuracy given at the end, an accuracy plot is given, along with an SVM decision plot. Here is a plot of accuracy tests for no liquid media test samples. By using wavelengths according to the top differences calculated, SVM is able to achieve up to 100% accuracy in classifying colon and breast cancer. While well, NDCI tests on the colon cancer resulted in accuracy of up to about 91%, the breast cancer average result was only around 54% and therefore not accurate enough to be considered a success. When NDCI was used to create a Boolean image with black representing colon cancer and white representing breast cancer, clear patterns could be found, therefore indicating that it is most likely noise which yielded the inaccurate results. In conclusion, we can accurately classify between breast and colon cancer cells using hyperspectral energy. Using the same method, however, we were unable to separate MSM and non-MSM treated samples. Thank, Thank you for watching. watching.